Hey everyone, it's me JD and welcome back or welcome to my channel. Today I have another EDC dump. So I'm just going to be showing you guys what I've been carrying with me for the past week and showing you guys how I carry all of my gear. So if you're interested, then please keep on watching. Also, if you haven't heard, I am doing a giveaway. I will be giving away the CJRB Malia. So if you're interested in entering the giveaway, all the instructions will be down below in the description box. So please go check that out. Alright, so the first thing I want to show you guys is this Benchmade Balisong comb. Um, I love this thing so much. It is so fun. I've been using it almost as a trainer as of recently, but um, works great as a comb as well. And it's very useful to have around because, you know, I got a lot of hair and it gets wild sometimes, obviously. This was a gift from my uncle, so shout out. Thank you. Um, yeah, and I love this. It has the same feel, same build as a typical butterfly knife, but obviously not because it has a comb. And um, I kind of just been using this to compensate uh, due to the fact that I can't legally carry a butterfly knife because I live in California, which is very unfortunate. Alright, so the next thing I'd like to show you guys is the Spartaco Para 2. This is basically like the larger version of the Para 3. Um, same G10 handle, same compression lock, but um, obviously different size and different blade material. And this knife isn't mine, this is my dad's. However, he's been letting me use this as of recently just so I can uh, get a little more comfortable with the size of this knife. And um, I've just been so into this. It is a classic, it is a staple in every knife collector's collection. And um, I'm just really happy that we were able to uh, add this to our collection because I love this. I think it is such a beautiful uh, yet simple knife and a great EDC nonetheless. I mentioned this in the separate video I did on this knife, but we actually picked this up directly from the factory outlet located in Golden, Colorado. So that just makes this knife so special and it was just a really cool experience too. I always like to include some sort of flashlight, but this time I have something a little bit more different. This is the Olight Obulb, and it has four different settings. You could do like a dimmed uh, regular light, a bright one, and a red strobe, and a normal red. And I've been using this just as like a little mood light in my room, because when it's super dark, it's kind of cool but yeah i just think it's so cute because it's like a little sphere um this comes in a variety of different colors and it also has a separate charger so you don't need batteries which is always great the next knife that i have here to show you guys is actually a knife that is very familiar to my channel i have shown this in previous videos before because i am in love with this knife this is the zt 801 bw and um, to carry this knife, I just carry it in this case, and then I put the case in my bag. The reason why I don't carry this on me anymore is because this is somewhat bulky and a little heavy in the pocket. And personally, I'm all about convenience and comfort over anything. But this knife is just too beautiful to not carry, so I have just um, been carrying it in the case. And this is my first ever full titanium knife. Um, that's also probably why it's so heavy and I just love the blade. It is unlike anything I have in my collection and I also have a video on this knife already. It's been up for quite some time now and I will leave it down below just in case you guys want to go check that out because I do go more into detail about this knife there. And the last item that I'd like to show you guys is the Spartaco Native 5. This is a um, newer addition to our collection, just like the Para 2. And this was also uh, picked up directly from the Spartaco factory outlet in Golden, Colorado. So this is also very special to me. And I've been carrying this a lot recently because this also matches my hot pink pepper spray that I showed you guys in a... Uh, older EDC dump. So, you know, color coordination. Love that. Um, I have a video on this knife already. I feel like that's so repetitive, but if you guys want to go check that out, I will leave it down below. Um, I love the handles on this knife, the FRN handles. I love the stonewashed uh, finish that is on this knife too. Stonewash finish is just so beautiful to me, and I really love that. It's a little detail that I just really appreciate. And, um, 
yeah, we also switched out the pocket clip on this knife, as you can see, just for a deeper carry. I always grab for this knife whenever I'm going somewhere. This has uh, become one of my all-time favorites, even though I've only had this for such a short amount of time. I've just grown to love it, and it is really great for an EDC. Alright everyone, so I haven't done one of these in quite some time now, but here is my fit of the day. My mom jeans are from Urban Outfitters, and my lace tank top is thrifted. So like I mentioned earlier, the way I carry my ZT knife is I just pop it right in the case, and I put the case inside of my tote bag, just so it's more convenient and easy for me to carry. So today I decided to pick up my Native 5 to carry with me, so what I like to do is just place it right inside of my uh, right hand side pocket but for some reason it is inverted so it looks like it's on my left but I'm carrying it on my right and that is what it looks like inside of my pocket and that was my fit of the day and that's how I carry some of my gear so that concludes this week's video. Thank you all so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Also follow me on Instagram at Jadine's EDC. I will leave my username down below in the description box, as well as a link to last week's video, just in case you guys haven't seen that yet. Thank you all so much for watching again, and I will see you all next Tuesday. Bye!